For Kadeem, waking up on game day is a good feeling. His hard work pays off on days like today. He'll do everything he can to give the home crowd, his Rutgers family, something to be proud of. I have a drink that I make before I eat, so it gives me a lot of energy. So I get a little bit of ice in there. And I was done. I actually spoke to the nutritionist for this recipe. Fuel for the big day. It's always a balance of keeping your body strong and your mind calm. Houston would love to leave New Jersey with a win. We go into the rack. We got a shoot around in about an hour, basically. So I'm just going there early. Into the rack, a home away from home for Kadeem and his teammates. They will have to protect it today like a family protects its home, and every family has its leader. There's not a lot of differences in whatever level of coaching you're into. It's about teaching fundamentals. It's about teaching to be a good teammate. It's about teaching uh, a system and to help your teammate and to execute and to build a, a defense that everyone can share in. We're a family, and that's more than a basketball team. Square up a little bit. Square up, two twists. Square up a little bit. Yes, like that. He maybe works with them and tries to let them know what he wants from them. And you see it, you know, you see it in the game. Then now uh, with um, Rutgers, uh, he's even better. They really worked with him and they really worked on him and making sure that he's, you know, uh, what he's supposed to be doing. The atmosphere at the rack is peaceful and laid back for shoot around. This is a time for the players to gain their daily confidence and energy. I love coming out early. Making sure I keep up. I'm very impressed that they could do that. They could play the ball and then have the, um, the grades that they do. His GPA is up. He's on the Dean's list. He's been on the Dean's list for the last couple of semesters. I just do what I have to do um, to make sure that I can make my mother proud. I'm very, very proud for, uh, for what he has accomplished on the court and off the court. She's, she's excited um, every time my report cards come around and um, I show her all my good grades. She's, she gets very, very happy for that. I cheer a lot. I, I'm very anxious. I get very anxious, you know. Kadeem's mother is still anxious for her son's games, but she knows that win or lose, he's in a good place at Rutgers. Focus, yeah. Focus on three. One, two, three. Focus. 30 minutes before tip-off, the rack becomes more electric as both teams prepare for a mid-season battle to be witnessed by family and friends alike. The Knights have waited patiently to play Houston again. I mean, we're going to go out there and get this dub, man. It's a revenge, man. We got to come back from that loss that we got from out there, please. We home, it's going to be a good atmosphere. Oh. 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 Coach Eddie Jordan is calm before this storm. Throughout his career, his consistency stands out, and all of his pupils will gain something from his leadership. Kadeem is starting in front of a big crowd, but is unfazed, confident in his talent and ability. Giving it to Kadeem Jack, outside the right block, turn around, jumper for Kadeem, rolls around and in, off to a good start, 2-0 Rutgers. Baseline going right at Kadeem Jack, into the paint, turn around, hook, left it short, off the front rim, taken out of the air by J.J. Moore, looking to take it to the distance, and he throws it down with authority in transition. Boy, J.J. brought some energy to the court tonight, no questions about that. Moore is pushing it right side to Rose, swatted away by Kadeem Jack. On this night, Kadeem and the Scarlet Knights defend their home court very well. They make it difficult for Houston to score in Piscataway. 
while they themselves pile up their most points in a conference game in nearly 11 years. He'll stop, take the three, back rim, long rebound, take it away. J.J. Moore's got it in the lane, draws the contact, and he knocks down the shot. A hoop and the harm for J.J. Moore. J.J. Moore would play his heart out against Houston, coming into his own at the forward position where Coach Jordan thought he would shine. Up and under, scoop play, and it's a beauty for Miles Mack. T. Gears back to Mack, straight on three, good! Pumps his fist. Left side of the lane. Scoop play up again. It's good. Same move as last time. And here's a steal by J.J. Moore. He will go for the one-hand dunk. And plenty of thunder in that one for J.J. Even with the seemingly insurmountable lead, Rutgers knew they couldn't let up. And they didn't. They went into the locker room with a 15-point lead, in large part due to J.J. Moore's stellar performance, knocking down 17 points in the first 20 minutes. The crowd lost none of their momentum during the break. Neither did the Scarlet Knights. But this game was still far from over. The Cougars came out for the second half with a bit of a snarl, temporarily reducing the lead to single digits. Second free throw in the air. This one's good. Rutgers once again with a 12-point lead. Thomas will go for the dunk. Coach Jordan held his team together. Kadeem, a couple of dribbles, works it down. Right side of the lane, hits from six feet on the turnaround. He looked around, couldn't find anybody in any better position than he was. The R family had plenty to cheer about. Rutgers by 11. Here's Matt quickly to the front court, and Kadeem Jack lays it in just like that. No good. Rebound loose. Max got it for Rutgers. Had it tipped over by Jack for the trailer. J.J. Moore, a baseline dunk. Nice break. Miles Max saw him, saw J.J. in that right lane. Kept the ball. Sit down. Has the steal. Puts it up. by Seagears. It seemed that everyone on this team was destined to contribute as the Scarlet Knights lead continued to grow with a dominating performance. Now Craig Brown in the lane, going to the 10, counted in the foul for Craig Brown, who put it in off the glass. Into the lane, wild shot, circled in and out. But what a follow jam by Kadeem Jack. A haircut never looked so good. Kadeem Jack finished with 16 points and four blocks. Miles Mack added 25 points. The whole team was playing as one, as though they had found their personality. Miles, a three, it's good! The Scarlet Knights have opened up a 20-point lead. J.J. Moore racked up 27 points. Rutgers got their revenge on Houston, a satisfying win for the whole team. Mack into the front court, bounce pass, Jack, and a two-hand stuff up. Oh, my. Miles sees the whole floor. Moore driving baseline, going for the dunk, and he's got it on the foul. Rutgers wins 93-70, a lot of points to score in 40 minutes. The Rutgers family couldn't be happier, including Kadeem Jack and his family. The Scarlet Knights will get a standing ovation from a pretty good crowd on hand this afternoon. As we're under 10 seconds left, and Rutgers cruising to a conference win. Final score, Rutgers 93, and Houston 70. Coach Eddie Jordan has won a lot of games in the NBA, at Rutgers as a player, and at Rutgers as a coach. But it's safe to say he and his team will remember this one for a long time. Coach Eddie Jordan and his Scarlet Knights gave their fans a show on February 1st, beating Houston 93-70 thanks to great team chemistry and energy. Yeah, man, just caught that dub and all that and all that, man. Feel me? Hey, Holla at us, man. Second, like our BB's like the 4th of hey, July. Hey. Good job, fellas. Close it up. Class.
and um, you know we dealt with prosperity. We came in with a 16-point lead, and it got a little up and down. But that one time when we said no one scored for about I don't know three or four minutes, and we scored, that was it. Enjoy your weekends. Enjoy your Sunday. Do some studying, and enjoy the Super Bowl. Let's go, Let's go fellas. Family on three. One, two, three. Families. Family. This is what Rutgers is all about. And Coach Jordan thinks that's the best way to win as a family. It was a pretty good performance by most of our guys. Uh, I thought J.J. Moore was a catalyst. Uh, Dean playing center was good for us. And uh, we just had the juice, man. We had, we had the whole game. There was a lot of teamwork and a lot of enthusiasm out there. And that's what I look at. And our personality was really good for 40 minutes. That's what he did. He did a lot of good things, driving the ball, catch and shoot, pull-ups, got on the fast break. He even pushed the ball a few times in the fast break. And his athleticism showed out tonight. It was really exciting. Kind of feeling good, man. We came in, we shared the ball, uh, got players the ball that uh, had the hot hand. So, I mean, it's just a great team effort today. Um, JJ started off real great. You know, um, he came out the game, um, he was real focused. It looked like he was on a mission. Did you feel a little more energy from the crowd tonight? And you guys got it going with the dunks and the steals and stuff? Yeah, um, de definitely that. Um, the crowd definitely gave us a lot of, a lot of energy, boost energy on um, what we needed. It had been a good weekend. Kadeem Jack's blue-collar work ethic had paid off again. Now it was time for him to enjoy what he and the Scarlet Knights had accomplished. Step pops over here. It's the first game you've been to, man. That's, that's, that's crazy. I didn't know that kid and what happened. I, I had a good you know. game, so you gotta keep coming up. Right? What's going on? I'm sorry. It's the love of my life right here. That's why I do what I do on the court. You know what I'm saying, man? Stop it. <laughs> it's real. You gotta keep it. You gotta talk to the camera, man. I said, she, she right. get a little nervous around the camera. Oh, she did good. She talked a little shit. I don't want to. I was driving, but now I can see it. You know? Yeah. Is it? Yep. Yeah, right. that's it. Perfect. Okay.